Hi guys, what's up? Well, I'm experimenting with some new lighting in here and I don't think it's going too well, but we'll try this. Anyway, back in the living rooms, you know what this means. It's me talking again about something. So anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I guess that'll do. So anyway, here's today's video. Today's video is about something that goes on here in Alabama and yeah, maybe other places, but for sure here. You go down the road driving your car and from time to time you'll see a, a car with a tag on it that says Alabama tag applied for. And I want to expose that as a lie because that in Alabama we do not apply for any tags except for like uh, specialty tags. We have a whole list of specialty tags you can get, support our schools, uh, nature, the weather, uh, hell, I don't know, whatever you can think of, you can get a tag for, you can probably do it here, but anyway, so those, the thing about those is, normally they have most of those, but I think what it is, actually, I said that wrong, you have to apply for like a personalized tag, so, uh, if you want one that says, I'm great, or something like that, then you have to, you know, you fill out your application there to you know what you want and all that and you may even do it online now I don't know I think Alabama has computers but maybe but anyway that's how you get one of those tags but all the other tags they're right there when you go the way we do our tags and our titles here in Alabama just for reference um, since seems like most of you guys are living in other places but we uh, if I was to buy a car like when I bought that Buick for instance um, the seller would just write or type me out a bill of sale. It does not have to be notarized, just with the information on it, his name, who he sells it to, what date, how much, the VIN number, et cetera, et cetera. And then I get the title, which actually I'm not titling that car yet because I've not been driving it very much at all. And our tags are coming up due this month, so I waited. <laughs> but anyway, the title is in their name, and then at the back, they've signed it in the appropriate places, and then I'll put some information out also. So that's how that works, and that's all you do on a, on a transaction like that. And I take that title and a bill of sale, and I take it down to the, the uh, courthouse, which we have a main courthouse, and we also have three, four, five uh, satellite courthouses. We used to have one right down the street down here, and guess what? It closed because they built a Walmart there. Anyway, you just take that thing in, and you pay the whatever the fee is for it. I think the, the title transfer fees like or title fees like $18 and then if you have a tag you want to transfer you do that at the same time. If you have to buy a tag you do it right there. They've got like I said in there they've got a whole wall full of nothing but license plates. They just go back there or roll their chair over there and get one. That's it. So you, there is no applying for anything. Now if I go to a dealer and I buy a car in this state then uh, it's more or less the same thing, except I don't get the title right there. They do the title at the dealer, they do it electronically, and then I'll get the, if I just pay cash for it, then I get the title in about two, three weeks. It used to be, Alabama used to take forever to get there. It'd be like a month, maybe two months. You might eventually get the title, but they've sped it up a lot and brought it into line with most places these days it's not one of these places you get it in like three or four days or you get it right there they don't they're not up to speed on that somebody actually told me that Alabama sends off to Tennessee to get their titles done <laughs> but and anyway so that's how that works and then if I even if I finance it it's all electronic I don't so but doesn't matter e either way you get your tag as soon as you get down to the courthouse with your information so that's why you need to hear that background and so you'll know that this is a lie. So if you ever drive through Alabama and you see one of these stupid ass tags on the back of a car that says that, then you'll know that they're just hadn't went ahead and got their tag yet. That's all. It is there is no tag applied for. There's no tag to apply for. It's it's bullshit. It's a bullshit thing. It's a fake lie bullshit. So and a lot of times I got my marker, I'm gonna do a on the go sign here. A lot of times you'll see one something like this. You 
go down the road. This camera's starting to aggravate me. It keeps dimming down for some reason. You go down the road and you'll see one like this. See that? There you go. That's about what you'll see. Somebody's written it out on a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. I've seen it on cardboard. You can't even read it. You know, so. <laughs> So that's supposed to, the idea is you're supposed to get away not being pulled over by the cops. Well, <laughs> it doesn't work because what you should do, instead of writing that out, you should write, have one out, write it, write it out like this. This is what you need to write on it. There you go. Write that one out. You know. Or, last one will do. How about this? This will be even more informative. Instead of just leaving a little bit to guesswork by doing no ta a pl tag applied for, you know, you could do this one. So let's just be honest about it. Why don't you do this one? You know, get my fingers out of the way so you can see. Can you read that? There you go. Just be honest about it. Or, I don't know, how about this one? So yeah, you know, so if you see that, you know what's up. And the cops, they don't believe that. You know, I'll do one last one here. Why don't we, I'm gonna, for all you people that are thinking about doing an Alabama tag applied for, uh, sign here, let me help you do a real good one. <laughs> Messed that one up. Messed my t Alabama tag applied for sign up. My license plate. I'm going to go get another piece of paper. There you go. Finally. Not this one. So, yeah. So, okay, everybody that does that, it's a stupid idea. It's not going to get you out of a ticket. Don't do it, especially if you don't spell it right, especially if you put it on a freaking piece of paper and tape it to the back of your car, okay? And the thing about it is even the dealers down here have gotten on this stupid uh, uh, bandwagon about doing the, they've, they've printed them out. The new car dealers and the used car dealers are actually doing this. They have their name across it, like, Nissan or Chevrolet, there's an Alabama tag applied for. Yeah. You just leave your name on the tag. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to lie like that. It's a lie, okay? I'm gonna keep saying it. It's a fake out lie. Lie, 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 lie. There is no tag to be applied for in Alabama. It's a lie, it's a lie, it's a lie. It is a lie. Because Alabama does not do drive out tags. Drive out tags are those tags that you see on cars when somebody's bought legitimately bought a car from a dealer and they take this thing that's like a license plate size piece of, of a form and they put a date on it and their name and all that and it's all filled out you've got like 20 days or 25 days to go get your tag so you can drive on that's why it's called drive out but Alabama does not do that because Alabama is doing good to get their 
damn license plates even issued and their titles even issued and trying to keep up with those things is, is too much for them to even try to contemplate I guess so they don't do drive out tags if I go to Georgia I can get one on a car if I go to Tennessee I can get one on a car Alabama no and probably Mississippi probably no because you remember Mississippi if you want to see a state that does worse at anything than Alabama it's Mississippi so anyway, just want to expose that. Thanks for watching. See ya.